everyone, I'm Jill and I'm making a new video series on YouTube. It stemmed from following a bunch of makeup artists and fashionistas online on YouTube and I wanted to make a makeup tutorial for someone who has scarring on their face. Specifically, I wanted to make it for somebody who has a cleft lip. I was born with a cleft lip. One in 700 babies are born with cleft lips, so it is pretty common. I hope that this will reach people who were born with cleft lip, but really the video series applies to anybody with anything that is making them feel a little insecure about how they look, whether it's on their face or their body. I started wanting to make a makeup tutorial because I'm pretty good with makeup and knowing how to conceal scarring. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll just make this makeup tutorial on how to conceal a cleft lip scar. But I did not feel right about that at all. I didn't feel like I should tell people that this is how you should conceal your natural self and that this is how you should make yourself look as normal as possible. That didn't sit right with me. That is not my message at all. I really want to enable people to play around with makeup and know some cool tips and tricks if they want to do that, but I realized that in order to feel right about posting that, I needed to go take a few steps back and look at why we feel the need to do things like that anyway. Why do we feel the need to fit certain beauty norms and how does having a cleft lip affect our self-esteem and just various issues that precede the makeup and that I think are more important than makeup. It's all about beauty and self-confidence. Then at the end we'll get to the makeup portions if you want them. Um, I'm someone who was born with bilateral cleft lip and palette. I also am someone who has a lot of experience with makeup. I am not a professional makeup artist. I do have a lot of friends who are makeup artists and I have known a lot over the years and I've gleaned little tips and tricks from them. I have worked in a number of different fields and I am currently working as a model and an actor. And so I think that plays a lot into why I wanted to make these videos as well because there's a lot of looking a certain way in the beauty industry and in the entertainment industry and I kind of want to address some of that and how that is actually why I became a model because I wanted to be myself and be somebody who has a cleft lip but who is so much more than that and who can be good at my job. The why of doing these videos is really to just show the progression of having really low self-esteem about something that you are insecure about in terms of your looks and how that progression can actually become you being more secure with yourself and the way you look all the way to being a really confident happy person who cares less about how you look and more about what you're doing in the world. I've been able to make that long progression and if there is anything that I can share with anyone out there watching this that may help you feel a little better about how you look, may help you get over insecurity, may help you feel more confident, may help you start focusing on bigger things that you're dreaming about, then I want to share that with you and hope that I can help in some way to make you feel beautiful. Whether you wear makeup or you don't wear makeup, no matter what your insecurity is, I would like to help you. And I hope that I do. Thanks for watching. Bye.